Well, hi everyone. I am working on a very special gift order for one of my customers and I thought maybe you'd like to come around for another packing video. I know you guys really love the packing video, so let's do another one. So this one's going to be a gift, so I package it a little different. I always do my best to um, be able to actually wrap the box. So I need some shred in there for starters. Just have some red and white and green and iridescent put together. And so we have a buttered rum soap and an apple cinnamon and then a cranberry mint and a figgy cream. So I'm not going to be adding any sort of an invoice. I want this customer to be able to just, or this recipient, just to be able to take it out, put it under a tree. All right, so I don't usually put in um, cocoa or gift packets when it's a uh, gift order because I just I don't know how that kind of looks weird to get samples and such doesn't it if it's not an order exactly I am not a professional gift wrapper I just wrap presents like I was taught as a kid just like any old person Now one thing I noticed with some of this paper, and this is the loveliest heavy duty paper from Sam's Club or Costco, I don't remember when we bought it. They last about forever. Um, it can kind of scuff up a little bit, so I put the paper towel underneath to help with that. paper is really nice but sometimes it doesn't wield my commands. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. So now we have a delightful little package here. And so I'm going to get out my ribbon. I need plenty because we're going a couple different directions here. I'd like to do a simple crossover on the underneath. These gift packages end up getting two um, wrappings, really. I slide it right in so my box just works just right. Put this away. And 
so they can still open this up and put it under the tree, but they have the most delightful package to start with. So I will adhere the tag onto this one and move along. Okay, so moving on, I have a delightful order from a delightful subscriber. I say hello to you, you know who you are. And, well, at least you will, momentarily. Okay, so the first thing we have on here I'm gonna put in is one of the Slay Fresh Snow Soaps, so adorable. Love it. And let's see what else is in here. Okay, so we have a eucalyptus spearmint. Let's see how I want all this to go in. And a sweet amber. Figgy cream. And a figgy cream. All right, and then we have what are you over here? So we have a buttered rum and a strawberry champagne. I may let the buttered rum kind of hang out by itself because it's a strong, strong soap. Let's do, let's do that. Okay. And then we have strawberry champagne. Mary Cranberry, and a Mojito. Such a great selection. Oh, Wildberry Blizzard, he was hanging out over here with me. Okay, so let me see how I want to do this. I think we're gonna switch out, do that. So the three are together just in two stacks of three. Okay, Mary Cranberry. All right, it's all in there. So I'm just gonna move this out so that, I know this one's on an extended journey. So I'm going to make sure I can get plenty of packaging or shreds all around the edges also. about the shred is it conforms and squishes into all the little areas and creates just a nice little nest for the products. I did not even put in the mojito who's sitting here on the side. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There we go. Okay, back to it. Everybody's in there. Everybody's happy now. I'm going to put in a festive forest and an orange spice. This is a hot process soap that I made. I had to make up a little extra and the hot process is ready faster. And then a hot cocoa packet. Everybody's in there snug as a bug in a rug. Alright, so in with the invoice and my business card. I got a lot of questions about this paper and I had mentioned in the video that most of my packaging came from Paper Mart but the point 
of it is at this stage is that it is no longer available. At least it wasn't at my last check. I probably should check that for upload. I could have made my ribbon a little bit longer. Yes, I could have. I could indeed, but it'll be all right. And then I have my happy holidays. Wishing you a very merry holiday season. And then I'll tape this one up and another done. I've prepared a medium flat rate box for this order and Look how it has all the fun holiday stuff on it. This is from last year's stock. And have quite a large order here and I'm really hoping it will all fit into this box. But I may need to upgrade to a large. We shall see. Okay, so we have Mary Cranberry, Bayberry, Wildberry Blizzard, Peppermint, we have a Buttered Rum, Sweet Amber, this is kind of a one of every soap order and I love it, Sweet Pumpkin, Apple Cinnamon, Eucalyptus Spearmint. Sweet Tea. We have Strawberry Champagne. Figgy Cream. My goodness, those two are my, some of my everyday favorites. This one too, Luscious Lemon. I will put, I need to have room for the spray. Oh, we had a cranberry mint over here also. So let's flip this over, I think. We'll have a cranberry mint and a peppermint there. Okie dokie, so we have anise. Hmm, can't decide how I want these to go in. Think for a minute. Shifted that just a little bit. I think I like that better. Then I'm gonna put the anise, a buttermilk, um, a pumpkin, buttermilk and honey. I have this at my sink downstairs, and it's just so good. And mojito, and a uh, triple milk. I don't think she actually ordered the pumpkin, buttermilk, and honey. I am just sticking that in as an additional, as a thank you for such a nice order. Okie dokie. Put that pumpkin, buttermilk in there. And then we have a triple milk. That looks like it'll go in just right. I have two of those for this order. Um, right now, at the end, I am sending two unscented rainbow soaps for the price of one. It's just something I decided to do. Okay, so 
we need shred and here's the snow kissed room and linen spray I always do a little piece of plastic wrap and then an actual lid just to help it not leak while it's in transit and get shuffled all around and then I put the sprayer in the bag with the bottle. I try to go to a few extra steps to make sure everything arrives well and not making a mess. It, so hopefully if it does leak, it'll stay contained to that bag. So I made a little pocket there. And we have the Fruity Loops wax melts. Fit in there nice. So for the gift sample, I am doing a strawberry champagne body mist and an orange spice and a festive forest soap sample. I did not have any wax melt samples to send right now. So kind of added some additional other things. I try to be very generous. It's not always even. Usually depends on exactly what was ordered and what I'm able to put in on the given day. All right, that's nice. Okay, so put in the invoice and the business card and look how wonderful it fit. It was just right. Now I will be insuring this package and I will also be adding a signature confirmation on the other side. Here we have another delightful package. Okay, so this one is going to go in a box in a mailer. I did not have it set up, so I just brought everything over. These are just nine by six by three boxes. I will put some of the frequently asked questions on these videos down in the description box so make sure you check that out there tends to be a lot of information down there in those description boxes so it's always good to check there first before you comment okay so into this package I have a buttered rum a sweet pumpkin. We have a bayberry and a merry cranberry. Sweet amber and figgy cream. An apple cinnamon and an anise soap. Is that a nice selection of soap? So just gonna put in a little bit of shred to keep everybody from moving too much. And then I'm going to add in an orange spice sample, a festive forest sample, and a hot cocoa. In with the invoice and my business card.
there we have another delightful package. I like to knock those corners down just a bit so that it'll slide into the mailer nicely. And there we have it. Okay, so this is my final order I need to pack for today. And this catches me up, except for one that we are holding on because waiting for my spray bottles to come in for the room and linen spray. So this one has two apple cinnamon soaps. And then this is the fun part. All the rest are the anise soaps. So this sold me out of anise. So it looks like I have some soap to make. I'm gonna see how many we can fit in here side by side. There's four, five, six. Put this sideways, that's what we'll do. And we'll put its bottom up against the bottom of the other one. And then we still have two more, but they fit in quite delightfully. The anise soap is kind of my, kind of that supporting soap that I try to keep in stock because it's gotten so popular. I'm really surprised by it because it didn't used to sell, but once more people kept buying it, it really caught on and I know I love it. I love black licorice type scents. So it's definitely one of my favorites. Into this one is an orange spice. This is a essential oil soap and festive forest and then the hot cocoa packet and I have my invoice and my business card so it's a Friday night so we are going to run into town and take packages and then we always get a Starbucks. This is kind of our Friday routine, the husband and I. Kind of our, we had another successful week. It's time to relax. So one thing I was wondering if you would tell me, would you tell me what products you enjoy and look forward to using and purchasing purchasing and then using obviously in the new year so we have valentine's coming up in february which for soap makers we gotta get started if we're not done already it needs to be done very soon and of course i know a lot of people just kind of like the cozy comforting scents in january but I want you to tell me what do you want? What do you see in the first quarter of the year? What products do you want me to offer? What products do you get excited about purchasing? What scents, etc. Because right now my curing rack is a blank slate. I have a batch of uh, it was not really a failed batch, it just swirled the wrong direction, so I'm actually using the soaps now as embeds in another batch because it's swirly and rainbow. And then I have some Breathe sinus relief type soaps that I'm thinking about offering in a special uh, set. Who would be interested in that? I mean, do you guys love the VapoRub type set as much as I do because I'm kind of obsessed with that set? But anyway, um, my curing rack is completely empty other than that. My whole process from here on out is a fresh slate. I'm so excited about it. So there we have it. We're gonna run off to that post office and we're gonna get that coffee and we are just going to have ourselves 
a delightful weekend. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.